pole for the first time in his career. He takes the inside lane. Here we go from CMS. Nice break there for Gray. He used that bottom line to get a nice push from Majeski. And look on the top. Here comes Roger Carruth to the back of Corey Heim. And look there's Purdy. <laughs> there, oh, off the road. 77 made an aggressive move, some contact, and he's lost a ton of momentum. I don't think Lane Riggs knew that he was going to be there. Lane was in that 38 truck. And I think Purdy made a good decision there. He started to dive in there three wide, said it's too early, it's not, there's not enough room. He backed out of the gas and kept from having a big crash down into turn three. He settles in in the seventh position, appropriate for number 77. Look at Matt Crafton. He's going to jump down, make it three wide. Try to move by Grant Enfinger in the nine truck. A couple of veterans doing battle there, right behind Nick Sanchez in the two. The 17 is Taylor Gray. Matt Mills in the 42 in front of them, dancing around. Brett Moffitt to the bottom of three wide on the inside in that green and white truck. Watch this decision. He had a big run, big draft, and goes to go at the bottom and says, ah. I don't think there's room. Backed out of the gas, and I'm glad he did. Lane Riggs was wanting to make sure there wasn't enough room for him <laughs> to do that. These are the drivers coming from the back. Tyler Ankrum had to spin in practice. We've covered this, or in qualifying, rather. We've talked about the situation for Christian Eckes. And as those two teammates drive from the back, it's teammates racing for the lead. The 11 is Corey Heim trying to get on point. Here he goes inside of the 15 of Tanner Gray. Yeah, the 15 got in the corner really hard, but lost his momentum through the center of the corner. That's going to allow Corey Heim to grab this lead. These two have driven away pretty nicely from third place running Ty Majeski. Got a nice gap there. When Corey Hine qualified this close to the front, starting on the front row with his team, on his teammate, I said, he could be really dangerous tonight. <laughs> I think we're seeing that right here. He was pretty dangerous last week. He was. <laughs> what a run to the checkered flag that was for him. I think we called high time about 50 laps before the checker flag, and that's exactly how it went down. 91 is Jack Wood. 